Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be making a video about why your rabbit is shedding so much. So if you're new to my channel, you might not know this, but if you aren't new to my channel, you would know that this isn't my normal uploading day. And the reason why I'm putting this video out here on a different uploading day, there will still be one that comes on Wednesday, is because I feel this topic is really important. It actually really hit hard with me and Milo yesterday, so I wanted to film it to hopefully help you guys out. Milo over here is down here eating his hay. His litter box is right here, so you might see him. Not so sure yet, but if you hear something, that's him. To stay up to date with our latest rabbit care videos and to just see a cute bunny, make sure to subscribe to our channel by pressing that red button down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's talk about why your rabbit is shedding. So rabbits have a shed every three months and this is commonly known as a molt. So basically they are losing their fur for the next season and that is why your rabbit is currently shedding so much. Now I do want to mention that sometimes longer haired breeds like Angora rabbits or lion head rabbits shed a lot just daily, but if your rabbit's shedding a lot and they normally aren't, they're probably going through a molt. So like I mentioned earlier, rabbits go through a molt every three months. So every alternate month, it's a lighter shedding. So maybe it's a lighter shedding, a heavy shedding, a lighter shedding, a heavier shedding. So that lighter shedding you might not really notice, but the heavier shedding you won't be able to escape. Every rabbit's different. Some rabbits may shed over a few weeks and some rabbits may shed all in one day. So it's really important to pay extra attention to your rabbit during these times. So currently when this video is filmed, your rabbit is probably shedding in preparation for summer, so they're losing their heavier coat, and it's a pretty heavy shedding. So during this molt, they need to be groomed multiple times a day. We'll talk about a little later why and what you should use to groom them, but they need to be groomed multiple times a day. It's not just a once and done thing. You wanna to try to get as much loose fur off them so then you can decrease the amount that they're digesting. So unlike cats, rabbits do groom themselves, but they can't spit up if they had extra fur. So you know how cats might be able to spit up a fur ball? Well, rabbits can't do that. It has to go through their digestive tract. Now the problem with this is, a fur blockage can occur if your rabbit isn't getting groomed enough, basically they just ingested too much hair, a fur blockage can occur, and basically the fur is stuck in your rabbit's GI tract. Now this can be really bad, it can cause GI stasis, if this isn't properly treated, your rabbit could die. So it's really, really important to pay extra attention during these times. Now if your rabbit hasn't pooped or eaten for 12 hours, you need to consider that an emergency situation. You need to call your vet immediately, your rabbit savvy vet and make sure that you can get seen with them so they can get the right medicines to get better. Since rabbits are constantly eating, if they stop eating, all the bad bacteria can grow up in their stomachs and that's really, really bad. So like I mentioned earlier, if they haven't eaten for 12 or more hours, it is an emergency situation. So right now you might be watching this video and you're like, yeah, my rabbit's shedding, but what am I supposed to groom them with? Okay, so a lot of things that you can find in the pet store for cats you can use to groom rabbits. Now you need to be careful with the slicker brushes because sometimes the slicker brushes don't have the covered tips and then they can hurt your rabbit's skin as it is very delicate. However, what I would recommend is getting a flea comb from your local pet store. That'll really, really help with taking out some of that extra fur and preventing fur blockages. Personally, I use a hair buster comb which can be used for cats or rabbits and it is great. In the rabbit community, it is well known for being one of the best grooming tools for a rabbit. So that is what I use. I really like it. It gets out most of the fur and it just does a really good job without hurting your rabbit and it's pretty good if, as long as you're not tugging too hard. Like I said, rabbit skin's gentle so you don't want to tug too hard but it still gets out a lot of fur while being gentle. So when you're grooming your rabbit you want to make sure that you get all of your rabbit's fur including their belly. They might not like it but try to get that. You want to remove as much loose fur as you possibly can so that and they're not digesting it and you can reduce your chances of getting a fur blockage which could eventually lead to GI stasis. It is normal for a rabbit to be digesting some of their fur because rabbits are constantly grooming themselves that's why they don't smell bad they're great about that so it is normal to have a little bit of hair in the digestive tract however having too much like we said can cause the fur blockage which can be really bad so you want to try to get out as much loose fur as possible and even if your rabbit doesn't like it you still need to get their tummy too. Personally the reason why I film this video right now is because Milo yesterday was going through a molt. I didn't realize it. The problem that I had was I didn't know that it, he was going through a molt and I would just brush him maybe once a week but I didn't realize it. So he must have digested too much fur and he got a fur blockage which really scared me. He stopped pooping for maybe two hours and that's not normal for Milo. Milo poops a lot. 
So I went and I gave him some papaya tablets. I also gave him some infant gas relief drops and I called my emergency vet just to see what they said. They told me to wait a couple hours and after the papaya tablets and the infant gas relief drops started working, he started pooping again, thank goodness. But I wanted to mention this because new rabbit owners might not know this, and it is important to be grooming your rabbit on a regular basis, especially during that molting season. And right now, if you're watching this around the time that it's posted, you probably wanna be grooming your rabbit more because a lot of rabbits right now are going through their molt. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and this gave you some information about why your rabbit is shedding. If you don't know about molting, that can be kind of confusing. Confusing. So I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into what to do about your rabbit shedding so much. Anyways, if you'd like to see more videos about rabbit care, make sure to subscribe to our channel by pressing that red button down below. Also, I have our Instagram and our Twitter. It's just regular mini lot Milo, but I have them linked down below. We post pictures every single day of Milo doing his thing, and it's just really cute pictures. I really recommend checking that out. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.